5G really can offer is that idea of taking many different city activities and adding a mobile element to it. And what this means is that it becomes more economical than ever before to embed very cheap radio sensors in just about any object uh, that can be then wirelessly connected to the network. We look at the role of smart city and healthcare. How can we have a connected ambulance that's getting that instantaneous information to and from the ambulance? Not only so the information is available within the ambulance to treat the patient, but also so the patient's information is available at the hospital for when they pull up to that. If we then think about the ultra reliability and the, the low latency communication, they come particularly handy with any use case where you have something either dangerous or expensive moving and where we need to have a very reliable connection to that object. So we're very optimistic that not only will cities and companies work together to enable smarter connected cities, this will also result in meaningful improvements in terms of the safety of operation of a city. There's just a ton of different use cases that can make uh, people's lives uh, more enjoyable, safer, and more productive. You already see a lot of cities deploying automated light rail type of services with the advent of autonomous vehicles. Can you use 5G to better enable autonomous busing, public transit, you know, adding a, a more efficient element to that? So it is important that we create this type of platform uh, where different types of software companies, different types of business models can, can, can flourish. Everything from things like video surveillance, uh, controlling machines and vehicles, um, and IoT as well, so massive machine type communications in the future, being able to improve the quality of life for everybody inside a city.